the keeper, he's got to go. It's a red card. It's a penalty. Oh. Hey guys, and welcome back to the fans perspective. And in today's video, we're on our way to the Hive to watch a Barnet side which are fighting for top spot against an Oldham side which is sat mid-table. The away side have picked up a few decent results as of late and the home side they've dropped some valuable points because once that they would be top spot but I feel like today is their main chance to get back on track, get back in winning ways and I'm going to go with a 2-0 home win. I'm with Arden who might be making his channel debut tonight and will miss the thumbnail himself, belly goal. And yeah, it's probably going to be a short one because it is on BT but thank you guys as always for watching. We're getting very close to 10,000 subscribers and I love every single one of you. If you do like this sort of content, because yeah, it takes quite a lot of work, please can you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live when you join the 10k army. And yeah, drop a comment. What do you think? Have you been to the hive before? Let's make our way to the ground. Have it then the beauty of the National League, you don't usually get this close to the action. The away side with Norwood up top, he's a goal machine, and then on the other side for the home side, we've got Hooper, who's played Champions League football, and of course, the star of the show, Charlie Raglan. I didn't think he'd make it to this level, but he's one of the best defenders I've ever seen, so hopefully, he plays well tonight. Let's get the kick off. <laughs> First real chance of the game goes for the home side. Beautiful bit of skill on the edge of the box. He kills it, <laughs> but it's just wide of the post. Touch! Oi! 15 minutes played, it's far to say this is not a game for the neutrals. I cannot believe what I have just seen. An absolute calamity of errors between the defender and the goalkeeper. He's kicked it into his centre back. It's bounced back in. All the striker has to do is tap it into an open net. And the keeper's turned himself into a bowling pin. I don't know what's happened. He's taken him out. The keeper, he's got to go. It's a red card. It's a penalty to the away side. <laughs> Elation in the away end and yeah, confusion at the home end. It looked like he sent off the goalkeeper. Apparently it was just a yellow, but he's, you've seen, he's seen red. He's been given red and somehow he's still on the pitch. The manager is just as confused as I am, but yeah, it's 1-0 to the away side. Action left, right and centre here today. It's now a foul down the other end. It's still 11 versus 11, so they've got a real big chance to get back into this. <laughs> well, what's just happened, mate? I don't even know. Don't the video literally shows the ref pulling out a red card and then just decides, ah, you know what? Just for a laugh. Here's a yellow, mate. Enjoy it. <laughs> now, fair enough. If it's a yellow card challenge, then all to your own. But you can't go changing the ticket on the pitch. Well, 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 another decision to rattle the home fans. We've got one ultra that's ran the entire stand to give it the bigger though you see the offside flag. To be fair to him, it was one hell of a finish. He's pelted it into the top corner, but at the end of the day, he's offside. It's not going to count. Is that missing the season? Head around it! Alex! Arden always had his moment. To be fair, that header was like a Harry Kane team team talk. That dribbled all over the post. He's through. Skin him. Oh, he could have killed him, man. Go on. A little bit of tech. Oh! Oh! 
So there we have it then, 45 minutes played and it is one nil to the away side. What a fitting way to finish such a hectic half with a corner that could have and most likely should have been. We've had a Stonewall red card, which has somehow changed to a yellow, even though he's got the red card, but he's ended up giving a slice of cheese. We've got the penalty, which is perfectly taken the away side. They've had their chances, but it's mainly been skill for the home side, which has done a great job. He's done some beautiful work down the wide, but sadly, they just couldn't get their job done. They did get the ball into the back of the net, but it was, of course, disallowed. And yeah, other than that, I feel like it should be a lot more action in the second half. I'll be interested to see what happens. I still think that Barnet are going to get the victory. I'm going to go with 2-1, and let's see what happens. Different team, different half, different spot, but same result. We've got a penalty to the home side now. Can they equalise? He's put nothing but gas behind that. The upper echelon to the net, and he's equalised Will. Do you think they can go on and win this game? Uh, depends if they want to wake up for the second half or not. They haven't come out like they uh, started. Like they oh, oh! And now they've just took over the ball. Now they're on the counter attack. Number 15. Out wide. He's still oh. oh, the goalkeeper. It's catching shot, practice. Shot, shot on target. <laughs> shot on target. It seems that Older are pretty comfortable with their lead. They've hit the snooze button. They find themselves level. And they really have woke up this half. Well, commentator's curse is limbs in the away end. What a finish. It really is bread and butter for the defender, though. He should be getting there. He's just slotted through, and the keeper can do nothing about it. Rifled it into the top corner, and the away side have their lead again. Charlie Raglan giving his marching orders, and it looks like that might give them the momentum to see it through. Oh. I've got all the time in the world for one of them challenges, but going back to the keeper, why is he going down it with Papa Don Riss? Like, what's he done there? Ball over the top, the defender's fallen over, he's got all the time in the world, and he's tried to be cocky with it, goes round the goalkeeper. Oh, well, he's a clinical finisher, he's a bagsman. He's not going to miss from there, is he? Just under 10 minutes to go, a two goal deficit, they do look dead and buried, but will there be a final nail in the coffin? I fully stand corrected. They've Sorry. taken their chances. Oh, they pressed to the fence. They've gone through on goal. And what a finish, Master Goalkeeper. Eight minutes added. Are we at the same game? What? Eight, eight minutes? I know there's been five <laughs> goals in this game, but eight minutes. Surely that's just for the celebrations. If there's going to be eight minutes, you'd expect to be in the first half, not the second. I mean, I don't think the away fans care. They just get to celebrate for an extra eight minutes. But 4 1, eight minutes to go. So there we have it then, full time and the away side just ran away with it. It's just one of those games where I have to put my hand up, admit I got it wrong, but fair play to them. Clinical finishing and a few mistakes from the Barnet defence really took the game away from the home side and they put the final nail of the coffin late on. But yeah, it was a great game to go to. It's not very often I get to have pitch side experiences right next to the manager who was like to say every single expletive under the sun. It was really funny, even calling the linesman chubby. But you know, we don't like too much ref hate, but yeah, a little bit. 
it goes a long way. We had a great laugh and for a free ticket as well, thanks to UCFB for providing that. And it's another great experience from the uni. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please, can you make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when a video goes live. And drop a comment, what did you think? Obviously, we met Zach. He's a great worker at Barnet and he loves his job. Especially great work on the Twitter today, mate. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.